Another method of controlling packing in the cavity is packing at a fixed rate by controlling the packing velocity. In this method, at the mold full point, the cavity is then packed at a constant rate. The control system maintains a set packing rate by using whatever injection pressure is needed up to the maximum injection pressure setting. If the maximum injection pressure is reached, however, there will be a loss of control since process adjustability is no longer available. Packing is ended when a preset cavity pressure is reached. Another method of cavity packing uses the cavity pressure as an input. If a cavity pressure transducer is installed in the mold, the packing rate and pressure can be more accurately controlled. Through experimentation, the ideal cavity packing pressure curve is found. This curve reflects the packing rate and pressures that produce parts with the desired properties. Using this cavity packing profile as its input, the control system adjusts packing rates and pressures as necessary to replicate the curve each cycle. This is a sophisticated and accurate means of controlling cavity packing. In summary, regardless of the packing method that's used, the objective is the same. It is to force additional plastic into the cavities to achieve the desired peak cavity pressure. This compensates for the shrinkage that occurs when the plastic cools, and does it in such a way that the required part properties are achieved.